Welcome back to Site Tech Intermountain SiteWorks training videos. In this video today, I want to show you another Kogo function, how to segment lines. In this video, this is a project that we actually shot both sides of the road. Uh, the EOP, the edge of pavement, was built too high and too low. The concrete was poured away from what the original model was. So what we did is we went along the side of the road and actually shot the side of the road on the right side right here. And we actually projected a model to the middle for a crown and then walked back the other side right here. But we just took shots. It was relatively flat, not a lot of highs and lows. So we just walked and basically took shots every uh, maybe, you know, five or six steps. As you can see on this right here, after we modeled it out, it actually spaced it out quite nice. But there's a lot of gaps in between each shot. If you have a scenario like this where you actually want to take your shots, that you took and actually segment it and create more to tighten up the surface right here to actually make it or this triangulation and the surface string lines tighten up. There's a function in Kogo to help you with that. So on here, we just have the elevations on to be able to show what it looked like and where we actually took individual shots. But I want to I want to tighten it up and actually take or put shots in between each one of these. So what we're going to do is we're going to go up in here to the menu top left go down to Kogo, and we're going to pick this middle one, which is Create Points and Arcs. On the list right here, like if you've seen some of my other videos, you don't have to know what these are. You can hit the question mark on the top right here and see a huge list of it. So right here where it says sub Subdivide Line, Subdivide Line slash Arc, what you can do is pick each one of these and subdivide it to add more points in between all these. You do need to change a couple settings on this set right side right here because if I were just to pick on the line and do ELP, you can see that it's just picking in between two points. So you got to change this top one to the entire line right here. And then the method right here, number of segments or segment length. Either way, you can change these to fit whatever you need. So if I do segment length, I can go ahead and pick the line, and then I can actually say how close I want those to be. So we'll go ahead and just pick five feet, for example, right there. And you can see that added quite a few points on right there. You can play with this as you want. You can do it a little tighter than that, or you can do it a little further apart. But just to show you how this works, I'm going to leave that one on five. That's five feet. I'm going to hit accept, and I'm going to leave them as measured points. I'm not worried about the names right there. We'll just leave it topo one and it'll create those points. Now I'm gonna pick each line individually and do the same thing. We'll just go each one five point, or uh, five feet. So we'll go to this side and we'll do the same thing and we will add in, this may take a little bit, but it usually doesn't. So now if I zoom in, you can see there's quite a few points everywhere along here. So if there's one that you need to get rid of, one that's actually way too close to another one, you can come up to the garbage right here do a little bit of cleanup and actually delete these. Um, I'm just kind of showing you the process here. Go through, kind of clean it up. I'm not going to get too crazy right here, but if there's a bunch right here, like I said, that you need to get rid of, you can you can clean this up and make it as you will. If you have like a drain box or something that you want to make sure, just just delete those as you need. But once you feel like it's good, you you wanted to leave it as is, Go ahead and just close out of the program right here, but now you need to resurface it. It won't automatically change the model that you already have. Just go ahead and basically resurface what you have. The way you do that is you go up into your menu, top left, you go down to the one right here called Data Management. In Data Management, there's Surface as Design. So in here, you can give this a name. We'll just call it Road Roadway Version 2. And I will include the measured line work just so it shows it. Hit accept. And then I'm going to use outermost points because it's the only thing that was on my work order. I don't have anything else that I need to worry about it pulling in. So I don't need to do a boundary. We'll just do that and hit accept. So what it's done is it's written a new design, but I need to load that design now. And just take note one more time what this model looks like before I change is how, how far apart those are. Now if I come up here, go project setup change project and I change to version 2 and hit accept 
Now that we've done that, you can instantly see that the tri-mesh or the triangulation has tightened up quite a bit. We can slip, move down, zoom in on it, and actually look. We can hit our little globe button right here and actually zoom down, kind of see what it looks like. Now, this may not be something that you necessarily need to do for the data collector. One thing I failed to mention is this isn't something that was really intended to make it a better model for the data collector because a data collector is just going to go along and check points or set things like that. This would be really helpful when you're exporting out to the machines. So now that I've done that, it tightens it up. And if I export this to the machine, the, the grader or dozer, or whatever machine you're using, isn't going to be cruising along and and, and going up and over brake lines or crown lines that have been made by those triangulations. This would, this would actually be helpful for the machines themselves. But once again, this video is just intended to show you how you can take lines that you already have and segment it, or you can just segment specific spots or specific areas, or even just one side of the road, et cetera, et cetera. But just know how to use Kogo and what those functions are in there to help you out on your projects. So thank you for watching this video from SiteTech Intermountain, SiteWorks training videos. Thank you.